Okay, so I've had a few questions about the settings on my looper board, so come check this out. So this is my head rush looper board. All of these pedals are in other videos, you can check them out. But basically this is what I see every time I'm performing. I can look down, at the moment I've got my volume turned down, so if I hit start all, stop all, this is a loop that I've already set up earlier. So you can see which tracks are on, I can stop particular tracks, you can see the yellow uh, and the blue. Over here up the top, if I hit the settings, my mixer, you'll see track one, two, three, four, which are these four tracks, my volume control, see these little arrows? So I've set up this volume, this expression pedal, basically to control the volume of all of the tracks, which just drops down from whatever volume I set those tracks all the way down to zero. So if I wanna fade out of a loop in the middle of a loop, I can fade out and fade back in again real quick and I don't lose my place where the loop actually was. So that is my, uh, my mixer. My audio routing, so I've got input one is my looping vocal mic, so my main vocal mic comes into this XLR switcher. When I hit it on green, <laughs> it goes straight out to my mixer as my main lead vocal tone. When I set it to red, it comes out of this XLR and goes into channel one, right? So it's a mono input. Channel two is where I sometimes route my MPC one, which is a sample pad, Sometimes I have that at live shows, mostly to make Mario noises when people throw money at me. <laughs> but uh, I have that routed in mono into track two, and track three and four is a stereo guitar that I get through all of my guitar pedals. From my HX effects, I run a stereo output into channel three and four in the inputs. So I've actually routed all of the inputs that I have, so my microphone, my MPC, and my stereo guitar come directly out of output one and two. So I've selected the stereo link out of output one and two. And then when I go back into my mixer, when I go to the output setting here, uh, track one, two, three, and four all get routed out of output three and four. So essentially I have all of the inputs going directly through output one and two as a stereo and all of my tracks, anything that I loop, once it's become a loop, it goes out output three and four. So I mix these tracks based on what I have on these tracks. So on track one is usually beatbox, track two, usually vocals, track three, usually some kind of a vamp or a little special guitar part, tambourine, random cowbell, 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 whatever. Track four is usually bass and drums. Uh, this is on a fixed loop. If I use a, a kind of a looser sync loop where I have different time measures, I'll route them differently. But based on the tracks and what I have on these tracks, I want them to sit how I would typically mix a band. And if I was mixing a band through front of house, I'd want the lead vocal and the kick drum to be kind of very present, very kind of foreground in the mix. And then I would want kind of the bass guitar and the guitar parts, keys parts to be a little bit lower than that. And they would kind of wash in the middle. And then you'd have any kind of additional things like horns or background vocals or random kind of extra instruments, tambourines. Cowbells. Cowbells you'd want kind of pretty hot, but everything else uh, you'd want kind of background in the mix. So I've set these volumes for each of these tracks based on where I want them to sit in the mix so that when I send everything out of my output three and four, it's pretty much how I want the mix to be and all the audio engineer has to do is turn that up. Okay, effects. I have two banks of effects set up and they're both relating to my vocal uh, microphone that's plugged into my loop station. So this first effect is just me EQing my loop mic to make it sound uh, a little more like how I want it in the loop. I want it to have almost no low end. I want it to be really airy, kind of like a hi-hat. I want my beatbox sounds to not be too bassy because I already play kind of kick drums and stuff with my acoustic guitar. So I want it to be kind of breathy and high. Um, I also want to remove out like 160 hertz or thereabouts because for me, in this particular microphone, in a loud room, that kind of gets really boomy and boxy and I don't like it in my loop station. The other effects bank that I have on that microphone, it has the exact same settings as the first one except with heaps of reverb. So if I've got a song that I really want the background vocals to be really washed out with reverb or I want it to sound like it's like a big, massive stage. <laughs> I might throw that reverb on when I'm doing the beatbox or when I'm doing the snare sounds or even the background vocals. It makes it sound really big. All of my pedals up the top are actually hiding 
the knobs that control the input volumes and the output volumes on my looper board so that I don't accidentally bump them when I'm playing or when I'm traveling. But apart from that, that's all of the settings that I have in my loop station. Hope that helps you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me for more content and let me know anything else you'd like to know about this stuff. Peace out.